Seth Johnson would land the house. Another video blog here. Um, so I'm driving to the hardware store to pick up some things for the tiny house. I um, have been really impressed with my local hardware store. They have the best prices around. Um, today I'm going to be looking at their tongue and groove pine paneling for the inside. Um, I'm at uh, video number 75 I think, so you won't uh, see this pine paneling for a while. It's kind of cool uh, to think that a tiny house is being built in only 75 steps until the pine paneling. Um, just kind of a fun thought. Also going to pick up some ram pump supplies uh, because it's spring I've been selling a lot of them. Uh, let's see, what else is new? I'm recovering from a herniated disc. I was victim to uh, peer pressure or um, just got ambitious with my squats and did my motions fine but whenever I went to rack the weight loosened up a little much. Don't do that. You'll see some of my videos I'm bending over real slow and keeping my back straight and now you'll know why. Um, so I just wanted to kind of bring up something that I'm really not familiar about or I've just read a little bit on and that is the legality of a tiny house. So I read the North Carolina law H774 and it's kind of a revision to farm and hunting cabins or hunting lodges. Uh, I think you can have farm buildings are included in this. Um, you should definitely check it out. But it's kind of stating something to the effect of, something to the effect of uh, if it's a farm building, regardless of what it's made from, as long as you don't stay in it more than 24 hours at a time and you house uh, farm equipment, of any kind or if it's a building to house employees for hiking, camping, kayaking, outdoor activities uh, and then again a hunting cabin. So if you know more about the laws for this kind of thing I like how it said in there regardless of building material so you can build it out of glass I guess and still be within the, uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, if you know more about it, just post in the um, comments below. I'd love to hear what you can and can't do in a hunting cabin or farm building or what have you. So anyway, I hope you enjoy these video blogs. I've really never set up a camera and just talked about stuff before, so... It may take a while before I get used to it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And I will see you later.